talk about that. I'm uh, uh, sort of focusing on a particular part of that. Do you have difficulty having a sense of time? If you're going to cook something and do something else, you should sort of have a little alarm clock going in your head that regardless of how distracted you get, you know that that is happening. Do you have a hard time focusing in on time when you're doing anything else? I black out. I don't want to say black out like a drinking blackout, but it's a dementia blackout. I mean, I can literally be on that computer and smell the smoke. Of course, then I'm going to remember I got food on the stove or in the broiler. Um, but you completely lose track of time. You're not really blacking out. You're just I don't even remember that I thing. put it on there, and then I don't. But yeah, my timer's not working at that point. I've fallen asleep. I put now I use the toaster oven for the garlic bread, but I've um, I have breakfast sausages, and I'll do eight or ten, twelve links at a time and then put them in a storage container in the fridge and I like breakfast sandwiches and stuff with eggs and sausage. So um, I have woke, awakened several times where there was sausages in the toaster oven, eight or 10, and I, I don't even remember when I put them in there. You set alarms on your phone? Not on my phone, but there was a caregiver at Communicare that read, I used to do a daily report on my computer because these monthly reports that they were preparing were just so, you know, wrap around services and you know, they just weren't telling the whole story. So I just did a daily report, and I still have them saved. They have over, over 800 straight days where I, I wrote something a few times a day. Um, I sent one to one of the caregivers at Communicare, and she lived right around the corner from me in the apartment when I eventually moved out. She brought me this little teapot, twisty thing, and sodas are another thing. Like, you take a box of sodas, you get them from the, um, the store, and they're warm. Take a box of sodas or one or two and you place them in the freezer, brain injured, forget it, kablooey. They blow up and they create quite a mess. Okay. So she gave me this little timer and I do use that for certain things now or I'll take it with me and I know if that goes off, I gotta get back to the kitchen. Where does the timer look like? It looks like a little teapot and it literally just twists. I bet it's not more than a dollar, but man, I'll tell you what, I've saved hundreds of dollars worth of food.